a breakthrough for scientists after they had a 20 minute conversation with a humpback whale. For centuries, the ocean has echoed with the haunting clicks and calls of whales, a language so mysterious it has remained undeciphered since the dawn of seafaring. But now, with the help of advanced artificial intelligence, scientists have cracked a code hidden beneath the waves. These clicks you heard, called codas, are just a facet of what we know of their communication. What they uncovered is not just communication. It's something far more complex, something that suggests intelligence in ways we never imagined. Could whales have been carrying on conversations, sharing memories, or even passing down knowledge across generations? It's possible that they're communicating in ways that we've never thought of before. This breakthrough challenges everything we thought we knew about life on Earth and raises one chilling question. If we can finally understand them, what exactly have they been trying to tell us? The scientific mission. The ocean keeps its secrets well. But what if one of its greatest mysteries isn't hidden in the deep, but spoken aloud by whales? For centuries, these giants have filled the seas with clicks and pulses that carry farther than any human voice. These sounds may hold stories, emotions, even culture. That's the audacious idea behind Project SETI, a nonprofit launched in 2020 by marine biologist Dr. David Gruber. Its mission sounds like science fiction, to decode the language of sperm whales, Earth's largest brained creatures, and perhaps even hold a real conversation with them. We know these animals are communicating. We just don't yet know what they're saying. This isn't just a biology project. SETI is a coalition of world-class experts from fields you don't usually see working together. Linguistics, AI, robotics, marine biology, and even cryptography. Partnered with institutions like Harvard, Oxford, and National Geographic, the project blends deep-sea fieldwork with cutting-edge technology. It's like building a Rosetta Stone for another species. Even the name SETI is deliberate, a nod to SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But instead of listening for distant radio waves, SETI is tuning into the clicks, pulses, and codas of sperm whales, treating them as the possible alien intelligence living on our planet. Thousands of meters below the surface, whales are holding conversations we've barely begun to understand. SETI has transformed the Caribbean into a high-tech listening post, capturing these calls in real time. This is just the beginning of decoding the ocean's hidden language. At the heart of the mission lies a thrilling question. Can humans truly understand and eventually converse with another intelligent species? To answer it, SETI relies heavily on the work of marine biologist Shane Jero, who has spent decades with a multi-generational whale family in Dominica. His intimate knowledge of their lives provides the essential cultural context AI alone could never capture. If SETI succeeds, the outcome would be revolutionary, proof that we share this planet with another speaking, thinking civilization. The real question is, what will they say when we finally listen? Decoding the phonetic alphabet of whale speech. The ocean guards a secret language, spoken for millennia by whales, only now coming to light. For decades, researchers have suspected that sperm whales, the largest predators on Earth, aren't just making random clicking noises. Now, scientists are finally peeling back the curtain on what could be the closest thing to a whale language ever discovered. At the heart of this breakthrough are codas, short patterned bursts of clicks. Think of them as the whale's version of syllables. Over 8,700 distinct codas have been cataloged so far and they behave strikingly like a phonetic alphabet for whales. Instead of letters on a page, their building blocks are rhythm, tempo, and the number of clicks. To make sense of this oceanic chatter, researchers are harnessing advanced algorithms that can automatically detect and cluster these codas with remarkable precision. This isn't just brute force data crunching. It's the linguistic equivalent of cracking the Rosetta Stone, but for an alien species beneath the waves. Now it seems that not only that it's some kind of language, uh, but they have vowels that are used in a, a way that is similar to human language. What's mind-blowing is how these codas mirror elements of human speech. Some act like vowels, for example, a codas versus i codas, while others combine in expressive rule-like sequences. Layered patterns even suggest punctuation marks hidden within the clicks, 
possibly signaling pauses or sentence boundaries in whale dialogue. The songs of humpback whales and the rhythmic clicks of sperm whales, known as codas, are haunting in part because their meaning has eluded humans. Listening to the largest of our fellow mammals, we have long wondered what they might be communicating. This isn't random noise. Contextual analysis shows codas shift depending on social settings, locations, or activities, hinting that whales might be discussing who they are, where they're going, or what they're doing. If these findings continue to hold, humanity may be standing at the edge of one of the most profound scientific revolutions, the possibility of speaking across species. What happens if we one day decode a whale's sentence and discover it carries meaning, intention, even emotion? Far from being silent, giants of the deep sperm whales may turn out to be hidden conversationalists, carrying on dialogues that echo through the oceans, conversations that have been unfolding all along, waiting for us to finally listen. AI and Robotics, Listening at Scale Beneath the waters off Dominica, a vast soundstage comes alive, not with instruments, but with the rapid clicks of sperm whales. Project SETI has installed a 20-kilometer by 20-kilometer hydrophone grid that records their calls in real time. This is the most advanced listening system ever placed beneath the waves, tuned not for military surveillance, but for decoding the conversations of the ocean's largest predators. But what exactly are these giants saying to one another? And could we one day respond? How do you spy on a conversation happening thousands of meters down in pitch black water with an arsenal of sci-fi tech? SETI has transformed the Caribbean into a high-tech recording studio, but listening is only half the story. To truly understand what whales are saying, SETI relies on gentle robotics. Hydrophones capture every echo, while robotic suction cup tags record not just sounds, but heartbeats, swimming movements, and social interactions. These tags act like smartwatches for whales, revealing not only what they say, but what they're doing while they say it. It's as if scientists are building a whale's Fitbit diary, revealing not just what they say, but what they're doing while they say it. The data flood is immense, too much for humans to handle, but AI thrives on it. Neural networks trained on whale spectrograms now catch nuances beyond human hearing. In some cases, the algorithms already outperform human experts in identifying dialects. By 2025, SETI has even mastered passive 3D tracking of whales through shifting depths, matching who said what, where, and what they were doing at the time. Once these mountains of data are collected, artificial intelligence takes the lead. With more than 50 scientists working across disciplines, SETI's machine learning systems can identify whale codas, the click patterns forming their words, with near-human accuracy. Think of it as upgrading from a blurry VHS tape to IMAX-level clarity in sound. It all feels a little like science fiction, a rival under the sea. Just as that film imagined decoding an alien language with AI, SETI is attempting the same, only with beings we share the planet with. Every breakthrough edges us closer to the possibility of real-time dialogue with another species. The ocean, once thought silent, is now buzzing with conversations. And for the first time, we might finally be able to answer back. The moment we crack whale language, the legal world may never be the same. In 2025, Project CETI partnered with NYU Law's MOTH program, the More Than Human Life Initiative, to explore what it would mean if humans began to truly hear sperm whales as fellow communicators. This collaboration isn't theoretical. It's already giving rise to legal proposals and a draft code of ethics for treating non-human communication as more than just noise. Imagine courtroom hearings where whale suffering is proved through their own words, not human interpretation. A forthcoming Law Journal article argues that understanding whales' capacity for language could dramatically reshape policy, strengthening enforcement of protections like the Marine Mammal Protection Act, or even defining new rights up to legal personhood for cetaceans. David Gruber and Cesar Rodriguez Garavito are preparing a legal paper that may become a historic turning point. They argue that decoding whale communication through AI could revolutionize non-human rights law. Imagine international courts one day hearing cases not just about whales, but from them, 
but this power brings responsibility. Rising concerns highlight that the same technology helping us understand whales might also threaten them through noise pollution, data misuse, or commodification. Project SATI's advisors emphasize that we must build guardrails, ethical protocols, data governance, and precautionary legal frameworks before charging ahead. We don't want there to be uh, disruptions to the whales. We want to understand them as minimally invasive as possible. We're not trying to talk to whales, reminds marine biologist David Gruber. We're listening and translating, ideally with their permission. That raises a jaw-dropping question. Could whales consent to being studied? And if they seem uncomfortable, shouldn't we simply stop? Leading ethicists say affirmatively, arguing for compassion and humility over curiosity with no limits. At its heart, this isn't just about whales. It's about our evolving legal imagination. The blending of science, AI, and justice now confronts a radical idea that rights aren't just human territory. If sophisticated communication isn't unique to us, what if the ocean's giants deserve voice, agency, and perhaps even representation under law? The future of talking with whales. For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering if we are alone. But what if the alien conversation we've been searching for isn't out there in space, but under the waves? By 2026, according to SETI researchers and The Guardian, AI may be capable of not only decoding whale language, but speaking it, generating click sequences that could elicit real-time responses from sperm whales. If that happens, the first true conversation with another species may not take place in a lab or over radio waves, but in the deep blue silence of the ocean. The foundations for this leap are already visible. Interspecies experiments are cropping up worldwide. The main use of Dolphin Gemma is to eventually look at their natural language patterns and match it with the underwater video. That's how we really figure out their language if they had it. Google's Dolphin Gemma project is exploring communication with dolphins, and researchers have recorded a 20-minute call and response with a humpback whale, a dialogue that suggests these giants may already be prepared to answer back. Early CD experiments, where playback of standardized sperm whale codas triggered meaningful reply codas, hint that whales are listening, and perhaps waiting. This is not about teaching whales English or human concepts. Instead, SETI envisions building real-time underwater chatbots, systems that communicate in the whale's patterns of rhythm and clicks. These would be translations into whale-style syntax, a kind of linguistic bridge between species. The thought is staggering. A chatbot not for customer service, but for cetacean conversation. But behind the romance of this quest lies something deeper. Speculation is already swirling beyond the scientific community. Reports from Asia hint at Chinese interest in developing similar technologies, possibly for strategic purposes. Could decoding whale communication offer military advantages, like tracking migrations for submarine routes or mapping oceanic territories through bioacoustic networks? While such claims remain unverified, the possibility injects a geopolitical edge into what many had thought was a purely scientific mission. If nations begin racing to control whale communication AI, will the ocean become the next contested frontier? Even without a conspiracy, the future is dramatic enough. SETI's work suggests we are approaching an unprecedented turning point, the first real dialogue with another intelligent species on Earth. Not a parrot mimicking words, not a dog responding to commands, but a mind-to-mind -mind exchange across species, mediated by machines. And yet, the greatest mystery remains. Once we open the door, what will whales say? Will they greet us with curiosity, ignore us as background noise, or confront us with truths we are not ready to hear? Humanity has waited millennia for a message from beyond. Now, the message may rise from beneath the waves. The only question is, are we ready to answer? So what do you make of this astonishing discovery? Could understanding whale language change how we see intelligence on Earth, or is it too mysterious to fully grasp? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated.